as we know that we can connect to Raspberry Pi desktop remotely with VNC Vivo, right? Which an actually remote frame buffer protocol. But what if, if I want to connect to Raspberry Pi desktop from web browser, like a Chrome or a Firefox? In this case, RFB protocol will not work for this a web browser, right? Because RFB is not supported by the web browsers. That is the point where I want to introduce with you the new VNC tool. It is an open source VNC client. It is written by a JavaScript and it gives just an ability to us to connect uh, Raspberry Pi from the web browser. So, in this tutorial, we will install the, this NoVNC and I will show you how we can use this NoVNC tool. So first, let's enable the VNC server in the Raspberry Pi from the Raspberry Pi configuration and enable VNC here and click OK. Then let's try uh, on the host machine to connect with a VNC Weaver. Give the password here, Asbel. And yeah, as we can, as you see that we can connect to Raspberry Pi desktop, right? To install the NoVNC, first uh, we have to go to the web page of this NoVNC in the GitHub page. Just click the NoVNC, GitHub. here, no VNC client, web application. There are a lot of information in this page that you can read to learn more. Here and here, whatever. I just uh, covered how to install right now. Just clone here, git clone this page. It will install the no VNC file directory, actually. Go to the directory cd in ovnc and there is an utils right it has an, uh, an a script that will bring up this tool utils a launch script launch as such we can run vnc like this as an option and we will give the port number right now it will be 5900 local host 5900 it will install also the websockify I don't have right now. That is all. And it give you a simple um, link, right? If you say, if you go that link, that will simply route you to the VNC server. Let's try from the host machine. It will not work actually, will, I will show you. First, uh, from the host machine, it's not possible to see the Raspberry Pi for me here. That uh, we will have to change, we have to replace the Raspberry Pi with the IP address. Let's just enter. It will not be reachable, as you see. So that means we have to change the Raspberry Pi with an IP address here. This is my IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Copy here for the other Raspberry Pi here. So we will see the main page of the NoVNC, it's cool. So we can connect actually the very first time. But when try to connect it, it will give an error, fail to connect the server. And in the, no, in the uh, Raspberry Pi, you will see that there is an issue with the SSL. That means uh, our VNC server encryption has a, some uh, different version. We will downgrade this version for our NoVNC tool. Then I will show you how we can do that. In the right corner, there is a real VNC options. In the, in the security tab, there is an encryption here and it will prefer on. You should change the prefer off. Then also change the VNC password here, authentication. So just give your password and I just typed one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't do that. It's just an, as an example, right? So let's try again from the host machine. Let's go to host machine. But before, of, of course, and we have to uh, restart the NoVNC again. So it's running. And as you see, there is no uh, certificate. The communication is just secure, it means. Click enter again here on the web browser. 
connect it. It will ask the password cool. That means we can connect. Sorry, we can simply connect to our Raspberry Pi from web browser, right? We don't need a VNC client right now. The web browsers which uh, support the web sockets, that will work. So I will show you right now how we can uh, start automatically at the boot, this no VNC tool. I will create a service here, nothing more. So let me set my keyboard first. Okay. So you'll check first, there is any web sacrifice running or not. If it is running, that will be the problem, right? You have to kill this. I will check there is no web sacrifice. It's cool. There is no OVNC. So then create a file in the ETC system, the system as a no VNC service, I just give a name, you can give whatever you want. System, no VNC service. First we will describe the unit section. Description we can give, just type something. To understand no VNC, for example, it should be description, right? Description. Then we'll give the after graphical target as you expect. Uh, without graphical things, <laughs> there is no point to run the VNC. Then in the service section. We will give the type as a simple S will be the capital and user will be pi as you expect. Then we will write here a command exact start. When this service starts, the command here will work. This is simply the command we just run before. Give the path of this uh, such file for the OVNC. And we can see local host, the port number we gave before, right? And I will send all the output to the null as a background process, right? You don't have to do that actually, but I will choose it this way. Unit service and install section, and once by like the graphical target, like an after. Okay, there is no problem. Control X. Then um, Demon Reload, we have to call sudo system control system ctl daemon reload uh, system ctl right then restart the service no vnc service Let's check the state of the service right now. It is running or not, let's see. Stemctl status, no VNC service. And it's failed, there is some issue. And the file name is wrong. N and C uh, will be the capital is the bigger, right? No VNC, let's change it. You can follow the same procedure for other problems. And see here, there is no pattern line. If you write in small right.
control x y and call daemon reload again because we have some change on the service restart no enc statue yeah it's running cool let's go to host uh, machine that let's see if it is working or not yes i can connect it will ask a password that means we can connect cool we can still connect and let's reboot device let's see let's see it's working or not after each reboot but before reboot you have to type this command sudo systemstl enable no enc service this will enable to run after reboot after see that reboot as you see after reboot we can connect to raspberry pi so i don't have to any vnc client right now cool then that is all for me guys see you around and don't forget to subscribe